Many people know that I really do like using umbrellas, but I also love using tents. So I want to show you these. It's the Mountain Warehouse Blackout Tent. Other makes are available, which I'll show you a little later on. And this was one of the many sessions I've done inside blackout tents. We're doing writing and light and all sorts in there. And I've got to be honest, the little boy who was in there was very difficult to get out. Now then, Mountain Warehouse are not the only people who make tents like this. You can get them from Decathlon. This is an inflatable one, which I'll be honest, I've not tried, but it does look really interesting. Decathlon also do the Fresh and Black make, which is foldable, really, really nice, a bit more expensive. Um, but I'll tell you what, the thing about these is that they are event tents. They're not designed for kids, they're designed for people who go to festivals and things like that and you can pick some of them up for look 49.99 is the one i'm going to show you the mountain warehouse one and the great thing about these is they are well they're up and down in price you can see there but these things are really tough just unzip it here and you see one thing about tents like this is that you can actually store them away in a sensible place and all right if you work in pre fives or little is you might want a smaller version of this but certainly for some of our guys no this is going to be absolutely perfect but look how tough it is see i weigh at least nine stone and i can walk straight across the top of this thing and i'm not going to damage it at all in fact i'll come back and walk back across just to show you this is absolutely brilliant because it's really tough and i'll tell you what i know some sensory tents that wouldn't actually stand up to that kind of hammer now get yourself inside with some sensory light and then zip it up and you are in the most amazing sensory dark space but you're outside Use a little light like this one, which is the Ion Party Ball. I O N Party Ball. You can get them from Amazon and eBay. Or you could just have a little B&M Bargains light up flashlight torch coloured thing, which is lovely. Crayola Glow Art Studio is what I'm playing with now. And this is gorgeous for writing in light, storing shadows, phonics, all sorts of things. And it requires a darkened space. So make your space really exciting. Make it dark. Inside a tent, this is wonderful. This is a four-man tent, by the way, so we can fit at least 12 children in here if they're very small. Or you'll get a couple of adults in there. And it is really dark. Look, you can see it's even sunny outside in the north of England. Well, actually, we're filming this in Ireland. There you go. Zip it up. And it's so easy to put away. Could you tell I was lying there? Once you've done the course, it's very easy to put it back in its bag and you're off. Look at this brilliant stuff. Mountain Warehouse, pop up three. They're probably on version four or five now. Oh yeah, something you might want to do. Cut the bottom out of the tent. Now this means, should you need to, you can have a quick exit from this. Look, you see there, I've just cut the bottom out, leave a bit around the edges so it keeps its shape, but that means you can pop it over the top of somebody, or you can just hold it open if they're not sure about getting in there, and then you can just pop it over the top. It's lovely. Now if you can work in the dark, you can do this. This is a white pop-up tent. And what I'm doing, I'm using an Anchor Nebula projector. Other well, projectors are available, but this projector connects to YouTube from your Wi-Fi. You could put a memory stick in it or anything, but basically I can project anything onto the side of this white pop-up event tent. Which means if you're inside, this is going to look absolutely incredible. This could be lovely just for a little relaxation space and because we're using projectors nowadays that connect to YouTube, if your specialist subject is small little dogs, you can have small little dogs projecting inside the tent. However, you could also attach your iPad to the projector and that way you can do some amazing little sensory stories in there. This is the app that's called Little Fox Music Box which goes through a lot of nursery rhymes. This is an amazing way to create a real immersive learning experience. The lovely thing about using projection is that whatever your specialist subject is, 
you can basically project it onto the side of the tent. Of course, they're not just good for outdoors. Tents like this work really well in classrooms if you have the space. They work wonderfully well in corridors if you can darken it down. And you know what? Sometimes we'll use mosquito net tents. Look at that.